We have to argue slightly only because mm. like solos, you can do them whenever you want, but because Adam Adams can do it whenever he wants, I'm a procrastinator. And so they always, they can stress me out because I'm like, um, it, you just put it off. I put it off for a long, long time. So they are kind of easier. They do kind of take faster. Like a uh, solo for me takes 10 to 30 minutes and an interview is almost always going to take an hour. Um, yeah. So it takes a little less time, but I feel like the interviews are easier because you just, the burden of the content today, Emily, and it's good thing you have a podcast called content with character. You know, all about content and copywriting. Um, the burden of the, of today's content is on you. I don't have to give anything. I'm, laid back chill i can just show up and ask you questions and you'll you'll put all the the value to my listener but when i have to show up on my podcast it's a little harder so you're saying the back the other way i think keep, keep going I mean, there i cut you off yeah. i want you to keep going i mean i am a preparer so i will actually prepare quite a bit for my guests just like oh. i like to know a little bit about them and be able to like really know my topic a little to ask the right qu the questions i want to ask like the ones i'm curious about and then it's like the scheduling piece and the sending them the assets piece you know like there's just other pieces that go into having a guest that's all i'm hearing you the assets the getting the guest the prep preparation making sure to ask the questions you know being being knowing ahead I'm understanding that. I don't do that as much. I like to wing it, but I think and you're, you're so I think good it's better. at that. I think it's better to what you do. No, but I mean, you're that's your style. And even with your solo episodes, like you, I feel like you can just sit down and like go. Where in my solo episodes, you know, I have like a little outline, and like okay. my little links. <laughs> I love it. Well, you know, I think both ways work and it really fits the personality of the person who's doing it and a personality of the person who listens as well. So it's, it's good to hear that. So, a, you're saying um, you're you're letting go of she built this community uh, just so you can really focus on that one thing, prune the tree, if you will. Mm -hmm. Even though you love, even though you love that part, even though it, it's been a big thing, you've done a lot of events. You're 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 narrowing the focus. But I want to share with you, and I hope this impacts the listener as well. That with your interview podcast, she built this. Honestly, Emily, I think that that's a wonderful way for you to connect with like your perfect person that you can help. You help people with copywriting, right? That's your that's your company. Yes. So, like if you're connecting with entrepreneurs and adding value to them through the the interviews on that podcast she built this, then there is some type of reciprocity that's one part where, where, Hey, I just got value because I, you, you featured me and it's, how do I give back? Well, I'm going to hire a copywriter anyway. I enjoyed our conversation. Why don't I just give Emily the business? Why don't I just hire Emily? She, she's great. She added value to me already. And now um, if I hire her, she'll know that she'll know that she added that value. And, um, so I guess what I'm saying is in your, where you are and with the frequency that you do it, and you might even be able to bump it up, but with, with where you are and the frequency that you do it, it seems like it's actually smart for your business. And I'm curious if you've seen any clients through She Built This podcast that have been on your show and that hired you for something. Has that happened? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because it has happened. And I, I you know, I never even knew about that whole uh, having the right guest in the seat that could be a client of yours. Like that never even crossed my mind until it started happening. Mm. And actually, I want to share because I think this is important for the listener. 
it's important to remember that how you show up as a host is is also reflective of how you show up as a business owner. So for me, and I know that this is the case for Adam too, so I feel comfortable saying this, I have a really good process for like getting my guests ready for the show. Like I send them everything they need, like a long <laughs> list. I used to even have it recorded as an audio version so they could like listen instead of read. But now I'm just like, that's too time consuming. So it's a, it's a list of everything that they need. And I send them all the follow-up stuff. And I am even like, I send thank you cards and I write them a LinkedIn recommendation. So like I have steps I take with my guests and it's the same every single, well, every single time the guest is great. <laughs> okay. If, if it was really bad, I wouldn't write a LinkedIn review that said it was an amazing interview. So I have a process. And my point in saying this is uh, so many people have commented to me about how organized I am, how reliable I am, how responsive I am. And that is why they decided to hire me as their copywriter or why they decided to hire me as their content writer. Because they're like, I knew I could trust you to organize what was going on in here. 